this is Erica with Launching Legacies. Welcome to our daily devotional. Today we are doing day four of our devotional on It's a Setup. And so I hope you're ready to talk about some of the things that God might be developing in us that keep us from feeling like we're making the progress or getting the answers to the prayers that we've asked, right? So we're asking God, petitioning God, we're asking, knocking, seeking, and then God reminds us that his character is good, that he's a good father, and that he does things to set us up for blessings. But sometimes in that setup, we feel like we're being disappointed. And so today we're going to talk about five areas again that he'll be, that God could be developing that might make you feel like you're being set up in a negative way as opposed to being set up to be blessed. So let's start by looking at what we did yesterday. Yesterday we looked at um, the area in which we said, well, God might need to be teaching you a skill, right? He might be teaching you to fish because we Remember, we, we use the Proverbs, it's better to, to teach a man to fish than to feed a man for one day, right? You teach him, if you feed him for that one day, he eats that day, that's fine, but he, he won't be able to survive. But if you teach him to fish, he can feed himself for a lifetime. And so he may be teaching us to fish, and that might be why the setup seems like a disappointment. And so we look at that, that's number one, where God could be literally teaching you a skill that's necessary for the success that you've asked him for. You've been praying for something, you petitioned about something, and God is like, you gotta learn how to do this first. And so when he's answering the prayer, he's giving you the skill instead of just giving you the answer to the prayer, because without that skill, the answer, the prayer doesn't feel like an answer. It doesn't feel like it's resolved. It feels like it's still an issue. So that's one. Number two is that God might be teaching us about our character. And so really character trumps even the skill set. If we don't have the character to be what it is God is asking us to be, then we can become um, not only disappointed by the circumstances, by getting the answer to the prayer, but really it could become a big debacle, right? It could be a big issue. And so sometimes God is developing character in us, putting us into a position in which our character needs to be corrected or needs to be exposed as, as wrong in a way so we can draw our character closer to his and receive the benefit of that which we prayed for. And so sometimes that's the thing that we need to look out for. And I, I want to remind you that as I'm going through these five areas, you should be spending some time thinking about when the things that you've asked God for, what of these five might be true or all of them might be true for why you felt like, oh, maybe God is not answering that right now. Maybe he's doing one of these five things. And maybe if you agree with him in these places, you'll find yourself being able to celebrate the answer to the prayers because you now have a a better understanding of what God might be doing in order to bless you. And so we have skill, we have character. The third thing is time. God could be using time because time might be necessary for the answer to that prayer. And you may be thinking, oh, Erica, that doesn't make any sense. God can do anything, you know, he can do anything in time. Yes, the scripture says that a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as, is as one day to God but not necessarily to you. You might need to just be older. <laughs> you might just need some time in order to get the answer to that prayer. And so what God might be working in in answering your prayer is giving you the time that's necessary for that prayer to be answered. I remember I was praying about a situation regarding a job or somewhat, and I kept getting the impression that I needed six months. And just give it six months and give it six months. And I kept hearing that as an answer to the prayers, like I'll do it for you, but give it six months. And as I thought, as I worked through it, I said, okay, fine. I'll just give it the six months because I didn't fully understand. I didn't really have another option. Anyhow, in six months, a, a major change and shift had occurred that allowed that six months to be an absolute blessing for me. But I didn't understand that. And so in the six month period while I was waiting, I was lucky to have heard six months. Some people don't hear anything and they're just waiting and waiting and waiting and thinking, oh, God's not going to answer the prayer. But God has an intention in the time. And so you want to be considerate to understand that sometimes it's about the timing. Sometimes he needs to teach you something, a skill. Sometimes he needs to develop your character. And sometimes it's just timing. And then number four, what? 
he might be looking for others to be a part of this process. Sometimes you need a partner or someone who's going to work with you or someone who's going to give you access. And that person is going through their own level of processing. Now, we like to look at it that way for a lot of things. Oh, in the marriages, we always say, oh, it's the other person. They're holding things up. Oh, when it comes to our success or being accountable, oh, it's somebody else. It's somebody else's issue. But truthfully, usually when he's developing others, he's also probably developing you in one of these other areas. But Others are a part or can be a part of an answer to a prayer. And so if that's the case, you definitely want the timing to meet up in which others and you are in the same place at the same time. And so it could be an issue of timing in isolation or it could be an issue with timing because there's others involved in it. But no matter what the circumstances are, when God is answering the prayer because he's a good father, he's being thorough and answering it. So if you let the others come into an understanding on their own, you might find the benefit of what you're doing as exponentially better than if you tried to make it happen yourself. And so let God answer the prayer through others or with others as he chooses and as he sees fit and be okay. Be at peace with the fact that God, he's still a good father. He knows what's happening. He knows what others need to be involved and we need to trust him in that. The last area that we're going to look at, I got to check my notes because I almost forgot, is to look at faith. How could I forget faith? Um, so faith. And in this area, I really, you know, spent some time with the Lord. And he's like, you know what? Some of these people that ask me for stuff, <laughs> I want to bless them with stuff. I'm trying to do things in their life. But they really don't have enough faith for what they're asking for. I had a pastor tell me once that what you ask God for is above your pay grade. Clearly, he had a background in the military. But what he was, what he was signifying is that you need your faith to grow to get what you're fully asking for. You're kind of asking not necessarily understanding the magnitude of how much you'll have to rely on God for that place. And so he told me that. He said, what you're asking God for is way above your pay grade. Your faith will need to increase. Your faith grade or your faith pay or faith level will need to increase exponentially in order for you to sustain this process that you'll have to go to to get that blessing. And for Launching Legacies, has definitely been that. Faith had to grow a lot in order for us to do the work that we do because we just kind of walked out. Out, right we just walked out and did whatever was necessary and relied on God to be good to us and that's great but that meant we needed a lot more faith and so he promoted our faith he grew our faith he developed our faith and he opened doors and so maybe faith is something that God is developing in you look at these are just five areas that God might be working on that might make you feel like he's not answering your prayers but I want you to be encouraged because I know that he's a good father the scripture says he's a good father never giving you a rock never giving you a snake nothing useless and nothing harmful he's always looking to bless you like a good father would but are you able to trust him and do you need to develop because it's important that you spend some time considering and thinking about what needs to grow in you in order for you to receive the benefits of God's blessing can you trust them through that I hope that you can we are praying for you that you're gonna be healing living and growing in these areas but we're also praying that you're praying for us and we'll see you again tomorrow with another devotional. Until then, 